in today's class we are going to study about types of functions in total there are four types one one function many one function on to and into function but in today's class we are going to study one one and many one function in depth let us start the lecture with the very first uh, topic one one function in simple terms one one function is simply every input has unique output there won't be same output okay for an example with the arrow diagram we can say first of all uh, this relation is a function why function has two properties what were the two properties every input should be connected to some output secondly every input has only one output right so all these two properties are satisfied therefore this relation is a function now the second thing why it is known as one one function because every input has unique output they don't have same output check it out one if i give as the input one i am getting as the output two i am giving input two i am getting output three i am giving input three i am getting output if suppose i say three input and two as the output okay and i erase this thing i erase this thing so now can i call it as one one function no because two input two output and also three input and two output again so same output same output not allowed as per the definition unique output should be there therefore this kind of function is not one one function understood now so i hope this idea is pretty much clear if it is clear let me check then i have three examples you have to identify which of the following is one one function let us focus here can i say it as one one function first of all uh, can i say it as a function yes because every input is connected and uh, every input has only one output okay so it is a function now the second question is it a one one function for one one function every input should have unique output so unique output this is also unique this is also unique okay therefore i can say it as one one function what about this example can i say it as one one function no because uh, one input one as the output okay but when i give two as the input again i am getting one as the output so same output not allowed therefore this is not a one one function what about this thing you might say yes sir unique uh, input unique output we can say that the outputs are unique they are not same so can i say it as a one one function no it is not a function check it out every input should be Uh, connected to output right every input should have some output as per the function definition this is not connected therefore actually this is not a function if it is not a function there is no point of discussion about one one or any other function right so this is not a one one function understood now if yes this is the formal definition of one one function a function f such that set a is mapped to b is said to be a one one function mapping if different elements of a have different f images in b and we have studied pre images and images in our relation class right these are known as pre images which are nothing but inputs and these are known as images which are nothing but output so simply every input should have unique output or you may say unique images that's all the definition says in proportional logic we can say that for all x1 for all x2 if x1 is not equal to x2 then f of x1 should not be equal to f of x2 which means uh, for every input if inputs are not same then output should not be same obviously inputs are different then output should be different for every unique input there should be unique output right i hope this part is pretty much clear if yes then we can go to the second type many one function now what is a many one function in simple terms some input has common output sir what if all input uh, has common output that is also okay but there should be at least some inputs which give us common output if that is satisfied then we say as many one function okay like here you can see that inputs 1 and 2 are giving me same output so some inputs giving me common output right so this some inputs are giving me common output therefore i will say it as many one function 
very simple definition let us see whether you have understood this or not so example one can i say it as many one function so first you have to check whether i can say it as function or not yes it's a function every input is connected to some output and uh, every input has only one output right so it is a many one function because uh, some inputs are giving me common output input one output one input two output one input three output one so common output i am getting so many one function what about this example this example is not many one because uh, first of all it's a function right second of all it's not many one because uh, there are no common output one input one output two input two output three input three output so unique outputs i am getting there is no common output so if there is no common output then not a many one function right what about this you might say yes sir this is a many one function no agreed that some inputs are giving me common output but this is not a function because see every input should be connected to some output that is not happening here therefore it's not a function there no point of discussion about many one functions understood so as per the formal definition of many one function a function f such that set a is mapped to b is said to be a many one function mapping if two or more elements of a have the same f images in b which simply says that we have uh, common images okay so common images if you can see like here here common images for some inputs then we say it as a many one function as per the proportional logic statement we can say it as there exist x1 there exist x2 such that uh, x1 uh, not equal to x2 and f of x1 equal to f of x2 what does this mean there are some inputs some inputs if the inputs are not same okay so here inputs are not same and still the outputs are same okay so if that case happens then many one function it's like many inputs are giving me one common output right so here you can see that many inputs are giving me some common output okay there is a very key note to make sure you understand that if a function is one one then it cannot be many one similarly if a function is many one it, it cannot be one one okay so i hope this part is pretty much clear so that is the thing which i have written here if a function is one one then it is not a many one if function is not a one one then it is many one or vice versa you can say it, okay now this was all about the definition of one one and many one function now comes the problem solving now we have various problems to deal with on identification of one one and many one function let us address everything okay so we have a problem one we have a function you know how to draw a function in the lecture one i have explained you okay so this is our x axis this is our y axis and we can see this red line is a function of x right this is how the condition the relation is going a curvy nature now you have to comment on this function whether this is one one or many one function now you will say sir we only know the concepts of one one and many one if you do not have arrow diagrams then how will i comment whether this function is uh, one one or many one because if i have arrow diagram then i can say oh we have here some inputs giving common output so many one if i have arrow diagram i can say that uh, all inputs are giving me unique outputs so one one function but if there is no arrow diagram then how i will solve this question so we have a concept known as horizontal line test what we do here in horizontal line test we simply make horizontal lines these are horizontal lines and these are vertical lines okay so we are going to make horizontal lines and we are going to investigate check it out this is our first function if i make horizontal line if i make horizontal line then can you see this horizontal line is cutting the red curve only once what does this mean this means that every input has unique output therefore this horizontal line is cutting this graph only once okay so this is known as one one function because every input is giving me only unique output what if uh, i draw horizontal lines here okay suppose i draw one horizontal line here can i say that this horizontal line cuts the graph only once no here it is cutting and here also it is cutting which means if this is x axis this is y axis x represents input y represents output can i say that here if i give input a then the output is f of a here if i give 
input b then this output is f of b but the values of f of a and f of b are same check it out if this value is phi then this value is also phi right phi equal to phi but my inputs were different suppose this input was minus phi this input was uh, minus 2 but inputs are different and output is same what happens when inputs are different and output is common sir many one function yes yeah, so this is known as many one function this is known as many one function in the arrow diagram you can also write in this way that if my input is a and input is b both of them are giving me common output which is let us say this is c okay so they are giving me c as the common output so this arrow diagram simply says that yes it is many one function many input giving me one common output okay so horizontal line test simply says if you make a horizontal line and if it cuts your function your red curve your f of x multiple times more than one time then it is many one but if it cuts only one time then it is one one if you understood this simple concept let us try on this and comment sir uh, if i draw a horizontal line then it is cutting uh, one time if i draw it again here one time if i draw again here one time so can i say that for this curve it is one one because horizontal line is cutting the graph only one time okay and sir if i check here see i am drawing a line here it is cutting only one time so can i say it as one one no no why because if i draw horizontal line here then it is cutting more than one time so actually it is many one function okay so actually it is many one function understood so let me repeat what just happened in this case in this case this uh, line horizontal line it cutted the graph only one time agreed but from just one horizontal line you should not conclude you should make multiple horizontal lines to make a proper conclusion right like here i made three horizontal lines to make sure that i am taking a right decision similarly here three times i am taking a right decision here one time was enough because uh, i got the idea that this horizontal line cutted the graph uh, more than once which was actually two times here so more than once means many one function but here when i drew the horizontal line it cutted one time then i have to also investigate uh, one more time draw horizontal lines like here or somewhere upside and check again whether it is cutting one time only if yes then one one if not then many one like here it cut it two times so many one function understood so you have to draw at least two three horizontal lines to make a proper conclusion otherwise you may fail in the trap okay now comment on this this question was there we have a graph uh, like this x-axis y-axis y is a function of x you have to comment on this function whether this is one one or many one function very simple sir if i draw a horizontal line here see suppose a student draws a horizontal line here he, he might say oh only cut it one time right so one one function no you have to investigate by doing two or three horizontal lines right so if i draw a horizontal line here then i can say it cutted one time two time and three time so yes it cutted more than once so answer is a many one function understood now when there is no arrow diagram how to identify one one or many one function simply draw horizontal lines and check if only one time cutting then one one function if more than one time cutting then many one function okay now we have a next problem f of x is equal to x upon 1 plus x a lot of student will say sir i do not know how to plot the graph of this thing and also there is no arrow diagram here so no arrow diagram and no graph so no horizontal line test now how to identify whether this function is one one or many one function okay so we have again a concept we again have a concept now to understand this concept let us go step by step very easy concept do not mug up or by heart any conclusions you can derive the conclusions if your concepts are clear see suppose i have a relation like this that uh, x1 input getting output as y1 x2 as input getting output as y2 can i say it as a function can i say this relation as a function definitely i can say this relation as a function because it follows the function property now suppose that y1 is equal to y2 is equal to b okay i'm making this y1 and y2 same and i'm saying it as b 
okay if i'm seeing it as b then how the diagram would look like like this arrow diagram looks like this x1 x2 and y1 y2 were equal i made it as b so like this so x1 connected to b and x2 also connected to b now this diagram looks like many one function yes or no some inputs giving me common output so many one function now note i am saying with a condition like this arrow diagram is coming with a condition where x1 is not equal to x2 some student will say what if like here you took y1 equal to y2 and you made like this considering x1 and x2 were not same but what if x1 and x2 are also same if x1 and x2 are also same let me take it as a then x1 equal to x2 equal to a so a is connected to b this is now one one function scenario yes or no unique input unique output so one one function scenario so this is uh, all the idea like if you do not have the arrow diagram if you do not have the horizontal line test this is what we actually use to comment on one one or many one function now every time we want to make this diagram so we should have some mathematical formula and see now how i am cre creating the mathematical formula the very first step i will say is make the output same make y1 equal to y2 make the output same and then you check whether the inputs are different or input is same if the input becomes same like x1 equal to x2 then your conclusion is 1 1 if the inputs are not same then your conclusion is many one okay so let me repeat what i just did step number one make your output same then investigate step number two investigate on the inputs if inputs are same like this then one one if they are different then many one okay so that is our final condition make your output same if y1 equal to y2 then check on your inputs inputs okay so if x1 equal to x2 only this only word is very important this is only you are getting this is only you are getting not something else okay not uh, anything else about x1 and x2 in the relations only you are getting x1 equal to x2 then you should say that it is one one function otherwise it is many one function okay very simple conclusion make output same then check inputs if x1 equal to x2 only i am emphasizing this thing again and again why with examples i will show if x1 equal to x2 only then one one function otherwise you have to say many one function very simple logic okay now let us investigate this example whether this is many one or one one function so step number one i am making output same okay let us say this thing is uh, y so y is function of x which is equal to this thing so output same means y1 should be equal to y2 this implies what this implies okay let me uh, write in this way if y1 is the output then x1 is the input if y2 is the output then x2 is the input okay so basically this expression can be said as f of x1 equal to f of x2 since my f of x is like this so replace x with x1 and substitute here similarly replace x with x2 and substitute here okay so if i do that then x1 divided by 1 plus x1 that is equal to x2 divided by 1 plus x2 cross multiply and solve so 1 plus x2 into x1 is equal to x2 into 1 plus x1 okay so if i multiply inside the brackets i am getting x1 plus x1 x2 that is equal to x2 plus x1 x2 can you see anything common can i cancel it out yes these are common you can cancel it out so finally what is left is x1 equal to x2 only yes or no very important the word only is very important therefore x1 equal to x2 only this is left when you are making output same and then if you investigate the input you are getting x1 equal to x2 only what i told you in the logics i told you that if y1 equal to y2 and then you are getting x1 equal to x2 only very important then the conclusion is one one function so yes our given function was one one function every input has a unique output no output would be common in this kind of function understood if understood let uh, let us see one more example so that you get the complete clarity on this concept f of x is equal to x upon 1 plus x square uh, identify whether one one or many one function pause the video and try by yourself then you look at my solution okay let me solve the question now very interesting question i hope you have tried by yourself 
first of all uh, we have to make the output same so y1 equal to y2 this implies that f of x1 should be equal to f of x2 now substitute x replaced with x1 then x replaced with x2 equate them get the answer so x1 by 1 plus x1 square that is equal to x2 by 1 plus x2 square now cross multiply and verify so x1 plus x1 x2 square that is equal to x2 plus x1 square x2 okay a lot of students will say sir this was very easy question see this i can cancel and x1 equal to x2 only therefore one one function very good this is wrong answer why it is wrong it is wrong because these two are not same check it out x1 into x2 square and this is x1 square into x2 these are different right so these are different now how to solve them rearrange take every player to the left hand side and make uh, groupism okay so if it comes uh, to the left hand side it becomes minus x2 let me group with this so x1 minus x2 if i take this player to the left hand side i am going to get x1 x2 square minus x1 square x2 that is equal to zero right this is what i'm going to get now copy this uh, paste to the next slide and try to figure it out uh, what it is going to land up at okay so here x1 minus x2 plus okay why my handwriting is getting so bad okay so x1 minus uh, x2 from here i can take x1 x2 common right so x1 x2 if i take common then what is left x2 is left and here what is left here sir uh, x1 would be left okay now take minus also common then what will happen x1 minus x2 minus x1 x2 if i take minus common from here the position will switch x1 minus x2 isn't it so for those students who are unable to understand take this minus inside am i getting this step again yes then i have done my calculation and manipulation correctly now your question might be why you took a minus outside to make sure these brackets are same because if the brackets are same then this bracket can be taken completely outside and now what is left this became one and here since this was outside now this thing is left inside so what is left inside x1 x2 that is equal to zero so if this is equated to zero i can say x1 equal to x2 right also also if this is equated to zero then one minus x1 x2 equal to zero which means one is equal to x1 x2 which means x1 is equal to one upon x2 now tell me can i say it as one one function no why because x1 equal to x2 and x1 equal to one upon x2 we do not have x1 equal to x2 only whereas in our condition i have told you that inputs relation should be x1 equal to x2 only then only one one function otherwise many one function so this has to be a many one function this cannot be a one one function okay reason was reason was when i made the output same if y1 equal to y2 then what happened then x1 equal to x2 and x1 equal to 1 upon x2 happened which means it is a many one function it is a many one function okay some student need example also explanation to get the feel okay let me take one example f of x is equal to x upon 1 plus x square this was our question and what just we figure it out that when your inputs are in this relation then the outputs are actually same okay so let me take my x1 is 2 then the function value is what f of x1 x1 is 2 substitute 2 here the output is coming out as 2 by 5 now 1 upon x2 so x1 was 2 right x1 was 2 so tell me what would be the value of x2 from this expression rearrange and you will get x2 as 1 by 2 okay so x2 is 1 by 2 check out check it out here x2 is actually 1 upon x1 which is 1 by 2 so now for in this function substitute x is 1 by 2 and what you are getting is again 2 by 5 so when input is 2 output was 2 by 5 when input is half output is still 2 by 5 so you can see here that inputs are different but output is common example of a many one function understood how to solve the identification question of one one many one function if you have algebraic expression okay now there is a problem three problem three i do not have horizontal test i do not have this concept of algebraic functions and uh, there is no arrow diagram how you will solve this question 
see we have a listing method a is 1 2 3 4 f is a function mapping from a to a and we have this three functions f1 f2 f3 can you tell me whether they are uh, one one many one or something else sir the concept which you can use here is the concept which you can use here is very simple concept that first of all check whether it is function or not okay second you have to check if it is a function then you have to just focus on the y which is nothing but the output if the outputs are different then one one function right let me shift this here if the outputs are different then i can say it as one one function if the output is same then we can say it as many one function right so this is the thing first of all you have to identify whether it is a function or not and second of all you have to check what about the outputs outputs are different than one one if the output becomes uh, same somewhere then it is a many one function now here when i checked f1 1 1 2 3 there is a problem see inputs are coming multiple time that is not allowed in a function okay only one input giving us one output here we have 1 comma 1 so same inputs are not allowed different input should be there so it is not a function if it is not a function then uh, no talks about many one or one one function what about uh, f2 and f3 f2 so 1 2 3 4 every input is connected to some output and uh, and every input is connected to some output which basically means it's a proper function no problem in that and now when i check the output step number two is check the output okay so when i check the output two three four one so all outputs are different so all outputs are different which means it's a one one function so one one function what about f3 inputs are one two three four so every input is connected to some output it's a function step number two check y y is 2 2 o oh, so outputs are same so output are same which means many one function right outputs are same common output many one function easy so let me give you a conclusion about the today's class how to identify one one or many one function when arrow diagram is there simple definition that for all x1 for all x2 for all the inputs if the inputs are not same then the output should not be same which means every input has different output unique output then one one function otherwise many one function like if there exists some input where if inputs are not same and outputs are same okay where inputs are not same and output is same which means some inputs have common output in that case many one function arrow diagram very easy second thing listing method like this we have seen listing method first of all check whether it's a function or not okay so first step should be about checking the function and second step is about checking the output so x actually helps us to check about the function x should not repeat then it's a function and also every input should be present and it is connected to some output okay that is very important to check whether it's a function or not then secondly we can say that checking the output will help us to identify many one or one one function if unique output one one same output you got somewhere many one function third thing if graph is given and they are asking you find a many one or one one function make a horizontal line we say it as horizontal line test if the horizontal line cuts the graph only once multiple horizontal lines you made and it cut the graph only once then one one function if you got some case where it cut the graph more than once somewhere you got the case then it's a many one function okay so uh, always make two three horizontal lines to get a proper conclusion otherwise you may fell in the trap already explained in the ppts right now finally if you have a algebraic expression a function and they are asking you for many one 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 function make the output same and then check on the inputs if the inputs are like this x1 equal to x2 only then surely one one if you are getting some other cases then many one okay so this only word was very important as we have seen in the example because in this example in this example you have seen that what we got was x1 equal to x2 and this thing so those students who have just mugged up like if x1 equal to x2 then 1 1 then they are wrong here okay the actual condition was when outputs are same and then if you have x1 equal to x2 only 
and no other relations on x1 and x2 then 1 1 but here we had x1 equal to x2 and uh, some relation on x1 and x2 so because of this it became one, many one function with the example also i have told you i hope you got the idea thanks for watching this class and uh, that's it for today